So in this uh, movie in Rollerball, um, there's three tiers. There's the executives, the players, uh, the players' wives, um, and uh, the the public. And then there's the public, you know, who are on this, you know, who just exist to watch these games. You know, it, it's kind of like, and each like. Uh, James Conn's Team Houston is run by the energy sector in Houston. Uh, there's also the bit of book, like, um, because uh, you lose your agency to, to the company that owns you. This is the theme of this film. Uh, that, you're, that, that, even, that it defeats the purpose of the actual sport because this sport is supposed to, this game, Rollerball, is supposed to be, you know, it's, it's supposed to be the negation of individuality. Right. Even, this is one of the contradictions of this film. Is it's supposed to be that that his individuality uh, goes beyond the the you know his his individuality. He he becomes like the champion of of this sport. But this is a world where there that this this whole sport is supposed to defeat individuality. So this is a kind of uh, I get I get it. So he he so, so like he he is becoming more important than the game. Right. And the corporate and the corporation, the corporate executives can't have uh, a player becoming more important than the game. You know, um, that's that's a theme of this 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 film. Um, individual individual because individuality individualism has been lost to permanent capital growth. All right, that's the dystopia that this future represents. You know. Um, uh, um, Nature versus freedom is explored in this film, uh, and, and also sort of the morality of the the relationships. You know, his wife that he's lived with for most of his life has now been taken by a, a, a company, a corporate executive, and he has no say in the matter. It's like, what's the morality of that? You know, the morality of of, of, of that questions the, these the the moral the moral values. It's like a football player who has three hundred and fifty million pounds in his bank account. But he can't get a girlfriend. It's just, you know, it's one of these absurdities that the, these this this film looks at in a way. I'm not. This is from a different era. This with this, you know, but it, it's it just looks at the abs absurdity of 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 the nature of the relationships between the the people and the, and the and the the company. Also, he the the there's no more library books. There's no more libraries anymore. There's kind of like learning centers. Everything's been digitized. You know, all books have been made into a kind of to digitize stories, so you can't read a book anymore. You know, can you see where this is going? You know, the the absence of bookstores. You know, in the end, that he can't get. Um, the, the, there's no records of, of books that were around before 1300. So he and there's no libraries anymore. You have customer service assistants. You don't have a librarian in this dystopian future. You don't have librarians. You have customer service assistants. Do you see where this is going? Like this is like. This the, the dystopia this hev that that this 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 heavily stylized dystopia that this film is pre is presenting is is you know it could almost be like this you know it's, it's you can see how the the the, the you can see you can see how it's, that the, the, these films are called science fiction but they're also kind of like almost, almost premonitions into the you know. The age we're living in now, we're not that far away from having no books. You know what I mean? The, the, that's the thing. He can't even get a librarian. He can't, you know. And then he realizes that the, then the central computer doesn't have enough knowledge of what happened before a certain period of time. So it represents disconnect, alienation, you know, disconnect and alienation. Also, the music in this film, uh, Adagio Albinini in D minor, was also the same music that was in the 1960. To uh, Orson Welles' version of the trial, you know, both different different movies, but they both deal with the themes of alienation. In this case, it's Jonathan is alienated from himself, you know, like uh, alienated from purpose, you know, like um, he he he's the glitch in the matrix. And this film was made in 1975. 